What's up loves? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Miss Erin Yvette and today I'm going to be doing a full get ready with me. I'm going to be showing you guys how I get ready from start to finish. My hair, my makeup, and of course my outfit details. So I'm going for a everyday summer look. This is basically how I'm going to be styling my face this summer. But I also want to go in depth with some products that I've been trying out from Milk Makeup because I feel like a lot of people are just sleep on Milk Makeup. I'm also giving you guys an update on my hair. You guys loved this look on my Instagram, so I decided to show you guys how I achieved it with Nodula Hair Company. And yeah, so if you're interested, definitely keep on watching. So I'm starting off with a bare face. I do have my brows on. We're gonna be going in with some products in our brows, but really quickly, I wanted to go over Milk Makeup. This brand is literally my go-to whenever I have skincare problems, but I still have to wear makeup, whether it's to go to work or to film. Like today is the perfect day because my face is not literally perfect, but I'm gonna show you guys how I get an everyday natural look without a full load of makeup. That makes sense. I'm gonna go through and show you guys the products that I got. So we've got First up is the Kush Lip Glaze. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my lips. I really just like the packaging. Comes out like this greenish color. My brows are not completely milk makeup, but I am gonna be going over right now with their Kush Clear Brow Gel. And I love their brow gels. Um, normally, I am in the color grind, I believe. But today, I use a mixture of other products. So I'm just gonna use the clear brow gel. You know that you have to wake up early and do your makeup and you won't be able to touch it up for hours at a time. Products like this are going to be your best friend. And I can already feel the products on my lips just moisturizing them and making them more plump and then it's like golden. So whenever I'm starting off on my face, I love that Milk Makeup has so many skincare products. If you're trying to get into some really good skincare, I would highly suggest Milk Makeup because they literally section you off based on your skincare needs. Now I have combination skin with slight irritations now and there. I do have sensitive skin. So sometimes products can break me out, but for the most part, I don't usually have breakouts. So what I like to go in with is a mixture of Milk Makeup products. And honestly guys, I use this every time I do my makeup. Right here, you guys will probably have seen this product. This is the Matcha Toner from Milk Makeup. And I love to do my skincare before I go in with anything. So right now, I'm just going to tone my face. And I love these products specifically because I'm going to be traveling soon. And these are like the perfect size. I think they all customize their products to fit for airport friendly travel. And so what this usually does is calm down my skin. If I wake up and my face is usually swollen, it helps calm everything down. It also gets rid of some redness if I've been playing around with pimples and things like that. This is the blur stick. And basically what it does, I have so much trouble with my pores. I will honestly say that's like the main thing that I have to worry about is my smile lines and the pores right under my eye and around my nose area. So I just take this stick and it literally just blurs everything out. Like, I didn't believe that it worked, but it, like, you can tell from this side versus this side. Now, it does give you a slight cast, but as you can see, it just blurs literally everything out. So next, I'm going in with my little trial size here. I'm going to go ahead and invest in the big one because I love this. This is their new Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer, and it's supposed to be a base adhesive, and I just love it because it's like the perfect product for me. I have combination skin, but most of the time my skin is super dry and it can get very patchy, especially in the summertime. So I love that this product moisturizes my skin and creates a barrier at the same time for my products. Not only does it make my makeup last all day, it keeps my skin from drying out because of the products that I'm using, especially if you plan on baking. And this is a chit chat get ready with me. So I'm going to be filling you guys in on a life update. I asked you guys what topics you wanted me to talk about on my Instagram. So I'm going to go ahead and cover them while I do my foundation. So I want to introduce you guys to this product right here. This is the matte foundation. This is a blur formula from Milk Makeup as well. So it does also have the similar blur formation that the blur stick has, which I said blur like 15 million times. But that's exactly what this product does. It gives you a natural clean slate but it also just blurs out any imperfections and i really like it it does say it's a foundation but i don't want you guys to think that it has a lot of coverage because it really does not do not buy this foundation thinking it's gonna be like any other type of foundation the maybelline fit me foundation has 
a lot more coverage than this product. It doesn't mean that this isn't a good product. Remember when CC creams and BB creams were a big thing? I personally have never tried them, but I feel like this would be a great alternative to that. It's not as expensive as the CCs and BBs and DDs went up to. And more importantly, this lasts you a very long time because the formula is meant to even out your skin tone. I want to emphasize that because I have pretty great skin, so it works perfect for me. But if you are someone that deals with acne and discoloration and things like that, I feel like you would have to go in with a lot more color correcting and concealers and things like that because going in with it by itself sometimes I feel like okay I need a little bit more. I'm also going to be going in with some concealers today. I'm going to be taking both of these from Milk Makeup. These are the Flex Concealers and I am obsessed. This is like my second favorite product from Milk Makeup. They do have some bomb ass concealers. I will go ahead and say that guys. Um and I am in the shade Caramel and Cinnamon. Look fairly similar if you guys can see right here. So Cinnamon is a little bit more to my skin tone and Caramel gives me a little bit of a highlighting effect. I'm going to go in with both of these today in conjunction. Um, there are some things that I haven't really been like addressing straightforward on my channel. Just because people watch my channel to be nosy. And I feel like unless you're sure within yourself, you don't ever need to speak on something when you know people are praying against you. And that's just how it's been. A lot of people have been holding their breath almost to see like what Aaron's doing next. And so because of that, I just been very careful the past couple of months about like what I say and things like that, because then I would have to go back and rebuttal and take it back. And we ain't got time for that. So I did move back home uh, after graduation and it's been today is May 5th. So I graduated a year ago today. Exactly. I graduated May 4th of last year. Um, and if you guys know about my graduation story, you guys know I failed a class from Florida State and everything like that. And yeah, so fast forwarding to now, your girl has now employed. Um, there is a lot more like going into this story, but I did just want to talk about this briefly right now because I know a lot of people have been following my story for a while. And I know a lot of people are or were in my shoes uh, whenever I was homeless and depressed and things like that and dealing with the fake friends and everything else in between and my breakup so a lot of people have been praying with me these past couple of months and this is the update for them if you are a new graduate i want to let you know that i'll be praying for you and it doesn't mean anything bad because you really should just accept this time and appreciate it because you worked your ass off for it that's first and foremost um but more importantly if you are graduating and you don't have a job set in stone, I just want you to know you're not alone, bro. You're actually in the perfect spot because nobody has their life together. And I want to tell you for the next couple of months, everyone's going to be posing like they have it figured out and they don't. Every single plan that they've had is probably going to fail. Every idea or strategy that you had set up prior to graduation might fall through and that's okay. It's life. It's normal. Um, and the reason why I'm saying that is because last year when I was going through my own little situation, it looked like, okay, God, you know, I graduated. It was kind of difficult for me last year. I don't want to go into the whole religious aspect about it. But I did just want to include it and say that if you can't find a job and you have to move back home and you have to move back in with your parents or if you have to accept a job that is way below your standards, you know what I mean? Or if you have to ask for help or sleep on somebody's couch or whatever you got to do to get there. Graduation is a beautiful moment. Enjoy it. But just know that you are on like the verge of greatness right now. So take this moment for what it is. Suck up every opportunity. Don't give up on yourself. Don't beat yourself up about life. You know what I mean? It gets hard out here. But just keep going. I guess, like I said, it's been a year since I graduated and I started my first job last week. It takes time. I've got colleagues who still don't have a job. I've got colleagues who work at fast food restaurants and they have a BA. You get what I'm saying? I've got colleagues who live with their parents, colleagues who don't want to leave Tallahassee because... They scared. They don't know what to do. They can't find a job. And honestly, I would say that if I could go back, I probably wouldn't have left Tallahassee so early. Um, if you've been in college for the past four years, stay in your college town that you've been marketing yourself, that you've been gaining networks. You get what I'm saying? It's easier to maneuver there 
than to maneuver somewhere else. And sometimes it's harder to come back home and maneuver because you ain't been home. You know what I'm saying? You've been in that new town. So I will say that I thought about going back to Tallahassee so many times, but because I know I spent so many years trying to run from Tallahassee, I did not feel like that was the best move for myself just because I worked my ass off to leave. And now that I'm gone, that's just behind me. I'm not going to go back and, you know, backtrack steps just because I'm in a a desperate mood. You get know what I'm saying? Um, and that's why I've decided starting probably in July, I'm going to be coming out with a boss woman series here on my channel. I'm going to be talking about resume building, what to do during undergrad, how to get into a graduate program, how to find a graduate program, how to find a job, interviewing questions, interviewing prep, what to wear to the workplace, um, like should you rush and get married and have kids and how to be an independent woman, how to travel and be that fine auntie and still feel suffice within yourself. Really just making your 20s as valuable as possible. I feel like everybody talks about men and relationships and being a wife and having children and all that stuff, but nobody talks about credit and vaginal health and reproduction like like a lot of women don't know about their reproduction system and I think that's crazy to me you know what I mean like growing up a lot of people didn't talk about sex because it was just so touchy but it's important to teach young people about sex it's important because it's literally the key vital essential of how society reproduces and keeps going. So we need to talk about these things. You get what I'm saying? How to take care of yourself as a woman. What to do at a party. To never put your drink down. Or, or what people... And I feel like fake friends. How to call out fake friends. Because if I was a teenager and I could watch a YouTube video about people my... Or this age now. Going through things that I went through. I feel like it would have helped me a lot. So in July, I'm, I've been doing a lot of research. And I think that's why... It's going to take me so long um, because I really want this to be beneficial for young ladies everywhere. Yeah, I have moved back home. Um, I'm still in my master's program. However, recently, I just changed my master's program. So my program was digital marketing um, and social media management. And I realized taking a couple classes that... I hate marketing. <laughs> I don't necessarily hate marketing, but that's just not something that I want to do for the rest of my life. You know, I feel like with that route that I was going, I was going to be spending the rest of my life making other people's dreams come true. And I don't want to do that. But milk makeup doesn't have a deep enough, you know, contour for me, or at least it didn't summon over. I do believe that in the flex concealers, they have deeper shades now that might work, but I don't actually own one. So I'm going to take my regular um, contour and blend all this out. My niece was born on May tw May 30th, excuse me, not 29th. She's supposed to come on the 29th. She came on the 30th. So my niece is here, Blake Aaron Kibler. If you guys are interested, I did vlog the whole process. That vlog will probably be up before this video. So make sure you guys watch that vlog. My sister named my niece after me and I'm still... I still can't believe it. Her name is spelled with an A instead of an E, but she looks like me. Like, oh, I'm just so obsessed with her dog already, bro. But when I say this is the best decision I've ever made in my life, I don't want to stay here long term. But for the next year, like all of my personal goals are here. My family is here. My happiness is here. You get what I'm saying? I haven't been happy in years. And it's like, one thing that God made me realize is that it doesn't take a place or a building or a person to bring you happiness. Happiness is a choice. You know what I'm saying? I've had times where I haven't had things and I've had times where I've been completely and utterly blessed. And it's like, despite what's going on, I am just so happy. And that that's enough for me, bro. I'm not going to really discuss my love life because... And that's all about that. Things have been going really, really great for me. I feel like that's why I haven't been talking a lot. But I did owe y'all a life update because I talk all the time about when my life is like, what the F, you know? And so when things are going great and I get quiet, I guess you guys are like, okay, Aaron. All right, you know, what's going on? All right, so about my new job because you guys did ask about that. So... My new job is with a company that I didn't actually expect to be working with. I actually signed on this job with a temp agency because um, I actually got a job somewhere else. But that job, 
I don't even know how to describe this. So I went on an interview for a job, right? And I was applying for a call center position at this point. It was just something that I really desperately needed. And I was just applying for the lowest position possible. When I got there, um, I ended up interviewing with somebody specific. And everyone kept asking me, like, why? And I really did not know why this person wanted me to interview specifically with them. Or at least yet. So, long story short... I got accepted for the position that I applied for, but the interviewer wanted to offer me a position in a leadership program, which basically would allow me to get her position by the end of this year. So it just teaches you different things instead of having, you know, one set up, I would have my own office and it would just be higher up in ranks. And so the person I interviewed with actually ended up going to Florida State as well. She has the same master's and the same minor as I do. And it was great because I really, you know, I felt like we got really connected and I was able to talk to her, ask her questions about the location and everything. Just like when you meet somebody that perfect, it's like, bro, you've done everything. You're, you've been in my shoes before, you know? And so just that moment alone was great for me. And then when I got home and I received the call, I was like, God, you are hilarious. However, that class does not start until later on in the summer. And because of that, I was really just trying to find an opportunity to begin as soon as possible. So they told me it was cool to go ahead and accept another program or another, um, you know, position until the class starts. And then if I still wanted it, you know, it's whatever. Uh, however, I ended up applying at a job last week, right? And the job description was really basic for administration. So I did um, end up going and interviewing, but when I got there, I was literally completely surprised. So I don't even think I told my people at the job yet with how perfect it is or about any of my personal goals. But you guys, I have been studying sewing and fabrics and everything like that and my grandma used to sew a lot so she was really big and creative like that and I already decided this year that I'm gonna be making my birthday outfit I don't know if you follow me on Instagram you've already heard all of this um so yeah this year I'm making my own birthday outfit I'm sewing it it's gonna be 100% Miss Erin Yvette and just getting into personal styling I've always done it for my friends and my family um so that's just something that I just wanted to do for myself whatever personal goal story short before i finish what i'm saying um this is the milk makeup blur and set this is their matte loose setting powder it's supposed to be a unifier and fixer what this does is literally mix everything on your face and blends it together it gives you that nice blur effect like i said most of their stuff has that blur effect but this is just so bomb it makes your skin look fake i'm in the shade translucent deep I don't know if they have anything deeper than this that is the sad part the job that I do is I am the administrative assistant however right now it's like the same uh learning program and basically I am learning how to sew guys I'm learning how to measure I'm learning how the back-end production of clothing comes along so the company that I work for provides clothing for Target Walmart uh jc pennies coles things like that like they are the creators they literally come up with designs and like create everything then they send those styles off to the warehouses to get mass production it's so cool to be behind the scenes like i'm just learning so much because it's like things i wouldn't have even thought went into fashion and I'm just learning you know different scenes and learning how to sew I'm learning different stitches and I'm learning measurements and just everything that I would need basically to start my own I'm learning right now in the job be trying out their Kush mascara go in with the Kush lash primer and then I'm gonna go in with the mascara after that's what I like 
And then I think I'm just going to go in with their Kush Lip Balm. And this one is in the shade Nug. Be taking this orange from this random palette. I like to apply orange as my blush because orange is just really gorgeous on women of color. This is my go-to year round though, honestly. And I take random orange eyeshadows. I used to use an orange blush by NYX, but it broke. So you can use whatever you have. For highlight, I'm gonna go in with the Mother of Dragons highlighter palette. This is not Milk Makeup, but Urban Decay did send this beautiful baggie over. Comment down below if you guys would like a full face of Urban Decay product because they sent over their whole Game of Thrones kit. And I've been obsessed with Game of Thrones, by the way, but that's a topic, sis. So today I'm just gonna mix these bottom two, which is Viserian and Rhaegal. There's the face. All right, so now we can go in with our hair really quick. With my hair, I'm just taking uh, like big one inch sections and uh, like giant sections actually, like this. Where's my brush? I'm just taking large sections and a wand and I hold it for about 45 seconds. That's what I really just want. I'm gonna be doing these sections all over. So on each side, I probably have about five or six curls. You just basically wanna hold it until you can feel the heat on the outside of the hair. So if you touch the hair and it's not hot, then it ain't done. Put it back in, it ain't done cooking. So I did get this hair from Nadula Hair Company. This unit I made myself. It is about 26 inches long. I received a 24 inch bundle, two 26 inch bundles and a 20 inch frontal. And if you guys missed out on how I installed my units, you can check out the video in the clicker. So this hair, as I said before, is still bomb. There's not really much I can say about it in an update it doesn't shed it doesn't tangle i don't take care of this hair at all so it's like i'm not even gonna lie to you the Dooley hair company is just a one-stop shop for if you want some really affordable bomb ass hair that's gonna last you for a while i know a lot of ladies say yeah i know wigs aren't for me it's not an investment I understand this but if you ever did decide to invest i would highly recommend the Dula hair for multiple reasons their hair curls and straightens so beautifully like when i go for bundles i'm usually going for something that's not gonna take a long time for me to maneuver they wanted me to create a prom video for you guys but i felt like this would be better because most of you ladies aren't going to prom i'm assuming i'm not going to prom i ain't been to prom in about five years <laughs> Um, but I felt like an everyday summer glam is perfect and if you guys are looking for some hair this summer definitely check out Nadula Hair Company. Get to the front. I do like to focus this hair um, better in sections. So I do take it in a little bit of a smaller section. Uh, nonetheless, it's still chunky. And I'm just I take, um, once I've got all of my waves here, I take my, so y'all, this is my final look. This is the outfit I will show you. So guys, this is the final look. This is my hair and makeup. I will show you guys my outfit at the end. So guys, if you're interested in this hair from the Dula Hair Company, I will leave all the links in the description box. If you guys are interested in trying out the locks yourself, I would highly recommend this. And yeah.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really hoping to do more Get Ready With Me's because I love sitting down and chatting with you guys and slaying with you guys as well. Um, I hope you guys learned a little bit more about me and were able to get some questions answered that you are wondering about. I love you and I will see you guys in my next upload.